You see, I wish the title of this video would have said something more of, you know, gone too soon remembering Juice World through his timeless music. But that will also just bring me into the party never ends, man. Now, things that I would love to say going towards the party never ends that we're heading towards the end of February. Things are moving in a direction that I think more so for myself are in a better light um blessings in disguise ultimately but seriously i tend to really just want to get things done i do need to say this first and foremost i gotta give y'all the energy i much love i appreciate everybody that comes to the page truly honestly let me update the numbers one more time for y'all let me update these numbers just so y'all know just so y'all understand where we're at on this road to the 5,000 and how close we are to knocking out these numbers knocking out these goals this is how close we are to hitting that but what i really wanted to speak on truly is the party never ends and i wanted to get your guys' thoughts and opinions towards everything that y'all heard in the media everything y'all have heard going on with the album songs mock-ups and things like that like we already know that we're going to get in my head we already know we're going to get face to face we already know we're going to get songs like that we already know that we're going to get rental biscotti shouts out to uh complex productions on just working on stuff like that and being able to talk to little Bibby on Instagram live and actually have cool conversations like that. That's part of why I love YouTube, but I'm going to stay on one topic for right now. Ultimately, I really do want to know for the people that have been waiting for so long, how many songs do you already know for a fact are going to be on there? And how does it make you ultimately feel overall? Cause mainly for me thinking about most of this stuff, it's going to i'm only thinking about the positive vibes like i know for a fact we may get way too many tough songs but all the underrated songs knowing that this is the last album knowing that this is going to probably be the last best piece of art that they put together and i need this to be top 100 billboard uh over a million copies sold in xyz amount of days type album i need all those accolades and all those numbers just because i'm a huge fan all right I just definitely need thoughts and opinions though towards everything songs everybody that's been waiting all the trials and tribulations them saying they're going to release it to them saying that they weren't going to release it to to um it's happening to it's not happening getting the hype train ready all the discords that uh all the group buys for songs to leak and there's more songs that are leaking that we are listening to but also once again I don't want to get my videos taken down. I don't want to get my videos blocked. I am literally listening to a snippet of the song. And I also can give you the song in the Discord. 600, 700 some people strong in the Discord. Everybody gives out files in the Discord. If I don't drop it, somebody else will. And that's guaranteed. Just join the Discord. Link in the bio. So. I genuinely, I genuinely need to say that I, I, I do. I do feel a certain way. I do internally feel a way that is unmatched right now. Cause I know once we get this album, it's also gonna be bittersweet. As soon as the album drops, as soon as we go on Instagram live, as soon as we go live on all our social media platforms and shit like that, as soon as we do all that, I know the feeling is going to change for me in the most bittersweet way humanly possible. And that's mainly because not only are we getting songs that we knew were probably they were going to wait on or probably weren't going to drop or just because we've been pushing for so long but this is once again the last album i don't know and then i i don't want things to go out on any form of a bad note i want to be able to sit through listen to that album song by song from start to finish and, and just be able to maintain my mood i'm praying that i do hear some songs that i've never heard before but also at the same time too as if you if you this in if you this far away if you this deep that that's literally a canvas painting of the dude like if you, that's literally a poster behind me of the dude if you're this far in like me bro how do you take certain stuff like this knowing that this is going to probably be one of the best most bittersweet feelings you're getting all these songs but this is going to be the last album and they're probably promoting it as the last album but also in the same time too come on now bro 
deep down in my in my heart i swear to god deep down in my heart i feel as though they're capping bro they're capping this isn't going to be the last album and this is once again in my in my deepest thoughts in my heart in my truest opinion i think that they're going to drop probably two more albums after this and if they really hold true they really genuinely hold true to saying this is the last album deluxe etc blah 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 and they really hold true to never dropping another juice song another juice album again that's okay but i know just deep down somewhere in my heart it's saying we're gonna get at least two more at least two more albums before they really just hang it up and that's that's just ultimately my thoughts ultimately my opinion towards everything but I genuinely do want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions towards this stuff, towards the things of the album. Let me know all your thoughts. I respond to all the comments. I just want to know where y'all guys' heads are at when it comes down to listening to Juice Roll, being a Juice Roll fan, getting all the songs that we've been asking for, etc. The trials and tribulations, cancellations, etc. And also, if you made it this far in the video, throw a W in the chat, man. But hey, take care of yourself. Love yourself, man. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.